Do you guys ever think about how someone could actually unlock your vehicle without having your key on them? Because it can actually happen. I mean, technology has come such a long way, guys, that people have these radio frequency scanners or devices that if they stand outside your house and your key is close enough to them, they can actually get signal from that key fob and they could hit unlock to unlock your vehicle, get in, possibly hotwire it and drive off or steal any valuables or anything inside that vehicle. And it can only happen with keys. It could happen with credit cards. It could happen with cell phones. They can get signals from those things and get your data, your information, hack into your bank account. That's why they make products like this. This right here is called a Faradaya box by Tevlevi. I hope I'm pronouncing those, those two things right. But basically what this is, is just a box that blocks any type of signal. So if you put your phone in here, it'll block all the signal. You won't have any reception, nothing. No one could gain access to that if they have any of those radio frequency uh, scanners or devices, anything like that. Um, so basically it's just a wood frame and it has a cloth shielding in here. So I'm gonna open it up. And the first thing that you'll see right here is it's gonna tell you that it's gonna block all these um, fre frequencies. So uh, Bluetooth, uh, Wi-Fi, radio frequency ID, NFC, the Bluetooth, your key signal, all that stuff, guys. So basically what's in this box is a box. I'm gonna take it out here. And it's very simple. There's no key lock or anything. It's just got a little flap right here, flaps up. The box is pretty sealed tight. You open it up and that's all it is. The wood frame, the, plastic, or the cloth shielding right here. So anything you put in this box, it will restrict restrict the, the signal from it. So no one could gain access to it. We're gonna put this to the test. We're gonna get into the push start Lexus and we're gonna put the key in here, see if it starts. We're gonna do the same thing with the cell phone as well. So let's get in the vehicle right now, test it out. So here we are in the Lexus. Now, when I put my foot on the brake, this light here is gonna turn green. That, and that's letting me know that the key is in the vehicle and it's ready to start. So here I go, foot on the brake, it turns green. I hit it. Obviously the vehicle starts, key's right here. Now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna turn it off, take the key right here. We're gonna put it in our little handy dandy box. If I can get it open, take the key. There she goes. We're gonna close it, put that flap down, it's sealed. Here we go, we're gonna try it now. Foot's on the brake, no green light, can't start. It says key is not detected. So that's telling me now that this box is actually doing its job. It's restricting all the signals so nothing can get read from this vehicle so we're going to open it up i'm going to see if it still works if we just open the flap which it should foot on the brake no green light now obviously when we open it and we try this foot on the brake the green light turns on now let's see if it stays on when i close this box foot still on the brake there we go the green light disappeared so this thing is doing its job here. We're gonna test it now with a cell phone. All right guys, I got my wife's cell phone right here. So just showing that there is a cell data and Wi-Fi at the moment. We're gonna toss that in there. We're gonna close it up. And then I have my business phone here because I'm recording from my iPhone. I'm gonna give that phone a call. let's put that up to my ear and see if we hear any ringing we shouldn't and i don't it's completely silent on the phone and still silent and now i got the beep on the phone so no ringing phone is out of service let's open this up here 
and you could see it is restoring the cell network and the Wi-Fi as there's nothing. Now it popped up. There it is. So it does work and now we got a phone notification. So you can put your phone in here. I mean, it might be a little inconvenient when you go to bed to put this in here because you also cannot charge it. But I mean, it does protect yourself from uh, your phone getting hacked and uh, people getting your info and all that stuff. So. I mean, this box does work. It is very nice. It is very handy to have. Put your keys in there, your credit cards, your cell phone. It'll block the signal so no one could access any of your data. 